Welcome to the Great Assistant instructional video. This is made for all you professors out there so you can get used to the ease of using the Great Assistant. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is create a folder on the desktop called QuickBooks Great Assistant. This is going to be used to store all the students Excel worksheets. So we have an example file on the desktop already. We've named it Future CEOs Online Chapter 1. We're going to go ahead and move that file into the folder. After you've done that, now we need to open up the file that's actually used for the Great Assistant. Now there are a couple things I want to go over with everybody before we start. First off, students should use the Excel templates provided at www.quickbooksblog.info. Also, if the sheet names are misspelled, the Great Assistant will stop running and display an error message. Also, if a student doesn't check a box, they will receive a zero for the assignment. And finally, if a student uses the wrong file name to save the assignment, an error message will appear. Now, we have already created the folder, gotten the Great Assistant for the correct chapter, and placed the student's file in the folder. You also need to make sure that macros are enabled, or this won't work. Now go to the bottom and select the Online Checklist, and click Run Great Assistant. Select the file from the folder, and click Open. Now the macro is going to run and open up this sheet right here. This is the checklist after the Great Assistant has run showing the score received on each worksheet. We have a 100 for the P&L standard, a 98.6 for the P&L detail, and 100% for both the balance sheets. Let's take a closer look. On this 100% P&L, there's nothing you need to worry about. No red marks. The student did a good job. So we're going to move on to the P&L detail. As you can see, the two errors are right here, marked in red. This is what you'll have to worry about and look over if there's anything you need to add additional points for. Moving on, we have 100% for both the balance sheet standard and details. Nothing major to worry about here. So we'll go back to the original checklist. And as you can see, there's also the total average score, which is a 99.7 for the project. And that's what the students looks like. Now, this is what you're going to be seeing as the professor. On the left-hand side, under student name, it's going to list all of the students and all of their corresponding grades for each of the worksheets. If you move down, we're back at our instruction sheet. And I just want to let everybody know that this is something that if you have any questions about, you can feel free to email. Um, this is used to be a big help for you guys so you guys don't have to sit and grade by hand all of this stuff. That's it for the great assistant. I hope it was easy to follow and hope it helps you in this upcoming semester.